Hi everyone and welcome to Day 5 of the 12 Days of Christmas. This is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mamma. Today I'm going to make a Christmas book box and in the following photos you will see steps on how I got it prepared. Then we're going to the rest of the video. Stay tuned. let's get on with the video okay now I want to show you the tr little bit of a trick here that I learned from uh, my sister scrapper years ago when I was learning how to make albums with her what you need to do and this is uh, as you saw it's, it's a old hymnal that was torn up and so I used to took out the pages and used the cover and using the hardbound cover instead of chipboard and I'm making a Christmas book box so what you need to do when, once you get this inside binding piece on after you've covered everything except for of course the inside covers is that you want to take your bone folder you don't want to just do this to it and expect to be okay because more than likely it will bubble here in the middle so what you do is gradually use your bone folder and gradually pull up on your book so the crease will be in there and this will lay down the way it's supposed to and then you do the same thing on the other side so you need to go ahead and do that now if you see here which I'm sure you do I have a gap here I'm not sure how I did that but I have a gap but I'm going to try to cover it as much as possible and this piece here is going to be inside smaller than what this the covers are going to be which is okay it's not going to hurt anything so you overlay the cover I mean the inside binding part first and then you add your inside covers and you want it to be your paper to be from just after the fold now I'm going to do mine to the edge and hopefully it'll work usually I do it I don't do it all the way to the edge but because I've got this here I want to cover as much as possible so I'm going to go ahead and hope hopefully it will work right and there we go there's one and I love that on the inside I was wanting actually to have this as a little border on here so I'm going to go ahead and take off these strips here okay so now my inside cover is done so my next step is going to be uh, making the book box and that is going to be in the next step I've got to get all the materials which is mostly chipboard and I'll be back okay my next step is going to be adding the box portion of the book now the inside here the binding was approximately an inch once it was folded and so I had to make it that smaller the book part smaller because if I made it an inch then it wouldn't fold up correctly so I decreased it from an inch to seven eighths of an inch for the height so that way when it folds up it's not going to bind in here hopefully <laughs> now this I made it a little bit smaller a little bit shorter than top to bottom I may shrink that a little bit I don't know in fact I think I might 
because once I get all this together, it's going to be a little bit longer. So I think what I'm going to do is this was measuring five inches for me to, to I thought enough room to allow for my spacing, but looking at it now, let's see. No, I think it'll work. Yeah, I think it'll work. So my next step is going to be to connect these four pieces that are going to be my book part, the inside part. Now I need to get my trimmer out. Well, have it upside down does not work for me. Okay, so now I want to put these pieces together, and I don't want a hot glue because the hot glue may not work on it. But I do want to take a piece of paper and I want to make it as my, um, I'm not sure what you can call it. Anyway, it will put the two pieces together. And because this is 7 eighths of an inch high, that means my piece of paper only needs to be that. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So I'm going to take, well, maybe I should have got my other paper. Let me just cut this down. Okay, so it's seven eighths of an inch high that I have this paper, the, these uh, sections. So I need to go seven eighths of an inch high or width. It'll be better. I mean, once I get going on this, you'll see what I mean. But this is, you know, pieces to get my cardboard pieces to fit together. Okay, so seven eighth, eighth of an inch high like this. And then I'm going to cut I'm going to cut it a little bit more, make it an inch this way. So it's going to be seven eighths of an inch by one. Oops, and I may have moved that one. So I'm going to do this first so you'll see more what I'm talking about. This is the height of it, and this is what's going to uh, be scored in the middle at half an inch, because I made it an inch. This is an inch, and the height of the cardboard piece is seven eighths of an inch. So I'm just taking my scoring tool, and it doesn't have to be exact because it's going to be um, a connection piece. And I will do my best to cover that. So I'm going to go ahead and show this one to you of how I do that. And I'm not the first one to do this. This is not my creation as far as telling you how to do that. I'm going to put tape on the outside. And I'm going to take it now. And I'm going to fold it on the edge of one piece. In this case, it's my eight inch strip, my eight and a quarter actually. I'm going to put the fold right on the edge, right on the edge. Then I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to lay it on top of it and put it right on the edge. And I think what I'll do on it is I'll just kind of even it out this maybe this way it's so small I'm not used to working so such a short width now I'm pressing it okay so now I've got the beginning of my box frame like this or like this either way so I am going to do that to all four sections and I'll speed that process along so you can see it.
Okay, now you're thinking, okay, now how in the world is she going to attach that to the bottom of the box here? Well, I'm going to show you. Make sure I got it right first. I am going to take some paper again, and I'm going to make it more of these pieces like this here, the corner pieces. I'm going to make them to go here too. And that means that this piece here isn't going to show because I'm going to cover it some way. Or I may just cover part of it. Anyway, this is an eight inch, eight and a quarter piece. So I am going to get ready and cut that down. Doesn't have to be exactly eight. Okay, so I have my book part of my box done and I do want to go ahead and cover this because I wasn't thinking about the fact that you know I didn't need to cover this to begin with but I have already and that that happens sometimes and so what I want to do next is go ahead and start covering the uh, paper in here I may just do a trim around here a paper I'm not sure yet just to give it some um, you know just to make it look like it's supposed to happen that way <laughs> so now I have this piece inside which should be about five inches or a little less I don't know for sure let's see yeah five inches so what I'm going to do is cut some strips or a piece of paper five inches or a little less than five inches by by eight and a quarter and I'll be back. Okay, I've got my inside covered, the white piece is covered, and I've got the inside band rim covered. And I just cut off a strip from this scrap piece that I had so I can kind of hide some of the seams a little bit. So I am taking oops, a tape runner and I'm just taping down the edge where the seam is. Okay, now to cover the seam, seams in the middle, I'm going to take <clears throat> this piece of card stock journal sheet, mounting paper, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to place it right in here. And then what I will do, where'd it go? I had a piece to go with that. Oh. I'm going to add this to the bottom. I may slide this up. I think I will. I think I'll slide it up. And so you hardly see the other piece of paper, the strips. Then I'm going to add this to the bottom. Or I may just do it like this. <laughs> we have to deal with making sure it's clothed 
and what that it will close and I like to use ribbon or something like that and I'll be back okay I got two colors of green of the seam binding and I want to check to see this will go with that so that'll be okay and what I'm going to do and this end will be covered is what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tie that will go around you know string here string over here yeah that's not right so okay so now it doesn't have to be exactly the same length because <clears throat> I can trim that to make them even but I want to make sure that I can tie it okay so I'm just gently going to tie it right now because yeah okay all right now let's see about decorating the outside now Okay, now the next step that I did is that I was going to use corrugated paper, as you can see there, a green one, to cover the sides of the, what would be to take the place of book pages. That's why I used the corrugated, because I wanted to have that ripple look. So you'll see that I trimmed that each piece of the corrugated paper to fit this, the right side there and the top and the bottom side. So they were approximately 8 inch on the right side and 5 inch on the top and the bottom. Now on the left side of the book box frame, there won't be any corrugated paper. I'll just put a piece of paper there because there's no pages to show there. That's part of the hinge. So uh, anyway, I glued them all together. Um, I had this narrated and everything already, and I don't know what happened to my voice on there. But anyway, that's why I voice over this section here. But anyway, the uh, the book pages, you know, just, you know, to me it gives a realistic look to it. So anyway, you'll see the rest of it as it goes along. So keep watching. Okay, so I have all the papers on it. I have my ribbon on it. I put a piece in here so it would match. And I see that I didn't trim this piece off. And it's not going to be perfect. This side here isn't going to be seen a lot. But anyway, I have it all paper decorated unless I find something else again. But this is what I want on it. This is going to be the tie. And I am going to go ahead and I'll put something on the back of here. But I'm going to go ahead and finish decorating it. And I had put corrugated paper around it. So see what I can do here. Sometimes I'm, I have a hard time tying both. But we're going to see what we can do here. There, there we go. Okay. So then I have my bow, and yeah, it is a different color green, but that's okay because I have a little bit different color green inside. So there it is for that time, and I'm going to finish decorating, and I will go ahead and show you what it looks like at the end of the video. So stay tuned. I'll be back. Okay, I have my completed box. I've decorated the outside of it. And you already saw the inside of it, which it hasn't changed. But I wanted you to see the outside of it. And I wanted to, I'm deciding whether or not I want to put a bow up here or not. It kind of looks all right to me, and it kind of doesn't. So I'm not sure yet. 
So you may at the end see pictures of a boat with the bow on it, and you may not. So anyway, that's it for right now. I framed this in some gold trim, golden white pearl trim that I got from uh, Lighthouse Stop and Shop. And I got these laces from the same place and the pearls and these little flowers. And then uh, all I did on the back was just put this little piece right here. So it looks crooked there, but believe me, it's straight here. So I don't know why it shows crooked there. So anyway, that's what I did with the corrugated pages. I just, I love it. It came out really good. So I'm happy with it, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. And um, I got such a mess to clean up now. So anyway, I will see you next time for, for the next Christmas video. So be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow. Bye for now.